Hello, and welcome to Awareness Self-Directed Training. The topic today is Nova Scotia Occupational Health and Safety Act. And this is mini module eight. We'll be covering sections 58 to 62. And this is one of a series of 12 modules that we are doing that covers the act for Nova Scotia. So the first topic we're gonna to talk about today is chemical safety and the following guidelines relate to biological, chemical, and physical agents or a combination of these. The so labels must be used to identify the presence, the composition, including common and generic names of the biologic, the chemical, or the physical agent, any associated risk with, to use, and the measure to be taken in case of emergency. It must be clearly communicated on the label as to when the agent was provided to be used or the director specifies the agent is limited or restricted. Labels must be in accordance with applicable federal and provincial legislation. So it's the duty of the employer to prepare a list of all chemical substances regularly handled, used, handled, produced, or otherwise present at the workplace that may be hazards to the health and safety of the employee and all aspects of the employee um, are being a hazard. So this really um, lays out, this section on the chemical safety really lays out the guidelines for the development of the WMIS regulations. So this is what um, is sort of the foundation of that, those regulations. This list must identify all chemical substances by their common and generic names where they are known to the employer. So you notice it says all chemicals. So sometimes we have chemicals that are not WMIS controlled, so, but, they, but all chemicals have to be identified under the Act and they may not be covered under WMIS. So that's sort of a bit of a distinction there. This list will include trade names, the address of the supplier, the manufacturer of any chemical substance, the chemical composition, the common or generic name which is known to the employer. And finally, the employer shall advise the safety representative or the Josh committee of this list of, and any amendment. If no safety rasp or Josh exists upon request, the employer will advise employees, the union, if any self-employed persons or an officer at the list of chemicals at the workplace. There are additional duties for suppliers, manufacturers of chemical substances and these are requested of the director and you can find these in section 60 of the act. When it comes to trade secrets, an employer, supplier, or chemical manufacturer may withhold trade secrets or other information that might disclose a trade secret that and the identification of specific chemicals including chemical name and other specific identifications of a hazardous chemical. However, this information must be made available to a health professional, such as a physician or a nurse, if they determine that a medical emergency exists, that a specific chemical identified of a hazardous chemical is necessary for emergency or first aid treatment. An employer, supplier, or chemical manufacturer may require a written statement a written statement of need or confidentiality agreement as soon as the circumstance permits. No person who, who, no person who acquires information regarding a trade secret manufacturing process or trade secret due to these circumstances shall publish, disclose, communicate this information except for the purposes identified below. Disclosure of medical information. No person shall disclose information obtained in a medical examination, test, x-ray, or hospital records of an employee may taken or provided because of, the, of this act, except in a form um, designed to prevent the information from being identified with a particular person or the case where, or with the permission of the employee. No person whom this information is communicated to, communicated to is confidential, i.e., supervisor shall divulge the information except in accordance with the act or the regulation 
this person is also not um, considered competent or compelling to indulge the information before a court or other tribunal in any proceedings. So that is the section on chemical safety. You've now completed mini module eight. Um, now do the post assessment and um, if you get everything correct, it'll thank you and if you have one or more answers wrong, it'll say try again. Just keep trying until you get the test completed. Thank you.